Charlie here from Your Past. Here's a gift. I didn't realize we were already recording. <laughs> okay, so my message to you in this video is to find that place that I was talking about in the previous video towards the end. Find that place where you're so in love with a moment, whether it be for something in your garden, whether it be for a pet, whether it be for a neighbor, you know, and you just want to give them your love in that moment you take in everything about them you know you take in their smile you take in their smell you take in you are just frozen in that moment and you're just observing them and you're seeing their true beauty who they really are inside start to observe with more than just your eyes and take it all in and let your heart feel let it feel what it wants to feel Stop telling your heart not to because it's going to get broken. Because that's not what it's there for. Your heart wants to feel. It wants to feel love for whatever it is that you have in your life right now. Can you make space for more? Can you make space for another person in your life? Or something else that you can feel love for? Start with something, anything you can see its true beauty, you can see its essence, you can accept it exactly for what it is. And just take it all in, take in the smell of it, take in how beautiful it looks visually. If you can touch it like a pet, if you've got a dog and you can cuddle it and you can just, they're just so cuddly, but, <laughs> or a cat, you know, we've had cats as well. Um, Recently, we had a, a little pet magpie, a little bird that we found in the driveway. And my husband one day was blown away because these are wild birds. <laughs> and we discovered the very next day that we found it that it was blind. So we couldn't put it back in the wild because it couldn't survive. And we got it a huge cage and this poor little thing lasted about a month before it passed away. But I think a week into having it, or a few days, it would have been three or four days of having this bird, one day my husband comes outside and I've got it sitting on my shoulder, you know, and I'm talking to this little bird and she's, you know, nestling a little beak into my hair and he was like, I don't believe it. And I said, what? And he said, it's a wild bird and it's sitting on your shoulder and it's like nestling into you. And I said, well, I wasn't, you know, to me, I didn't think about it. I didn't think that he could, you know, pick my eye out or I wasn't thinking anything negative when I picked her up and put her on my shoulder. I just thought, well, she can't see, I thought. And I thought if I have her here and she can hear me, it might feel comforting to this bird. You know, and at the time he came, I was actually patting her back like that. And he was just blown away. But that's what love does, you know? <laughs> and here at home, they were all really sad when she passed away. And my daughter was devastated, you know, because she's the one that refused at the beginning. She refused, she didn't want to give this bird away. You know, we were going to call wires and she, she said, no, I don't want it to go away. And she was right because they would have discovered that it was blind and they probably would have put it down straight away because they can't rehabilitate this bird and put it back in the wild, you know. And as my husband was saying, that lasts like 20 years. So we thought, well, if we've got her for 20 years then we've got her for 20 years, we've got to learn how to take care of her. But that was my attitude and my daughter's attitude. You know, she was part of our family because for me, she came for a reason. And funny enough, it brought us all together. You know, my husband would be building all these little platforms for her, you know, that she could stand on with branches and things that she was sturdy on. And I was giving her all these cuddles, you know, and even my daughter was learning how to hold her and, and give patting her and things like that. And it just, we just all came together as a family. All of our strengths came together for this one little bird. And we all showed our love to this bird in different ways. You know, I was feeding her most of the time and it was just beautiful, you know. So there are so many ways that you can love. You can give your love and you can see the essence of what you're giving your love to. Connect to it. Let your heart completely open up and overflow with love for 
whatever it is, you know, because even though we were sad when she was gone, to me it was so worth it in the end that all three of us could express our love in so many different ways. But she knew that we cared. She knew that we were taking care of her. She could feel our love. And that's why she was so trusting that I could have her on my shoulder. And she never once, never once tried to hurt me, you know, or feel that she had to defend herself or feel, I don't know. And about a week after we had her, her parents started to show up and they would fly down and get as close as possible to talk to her. You know, we, we were just blown away because I thought, well, if the mum saw that she'd fallen out of the tree, surely she was just going to abandon her and keep taking care of the other young. But they came. And even a sibling, there was one that looked just like her, all scruffy and young. And, um, and this other bird also kept coming over to talk to her. You know, they'd sing to her and she would respond and it was just so beautiful. So we got to witness that love, you know, of the, the family that didn't want to give up on her, even though they couldn't take care of her either. Because she can't see, she can't fly, she can't feed herself, she can't do anything for herself, you know? So think about that today. Start to open up your eyes and feel love. It doesn't have to be for another person, but just start using your heart. Allow it to do what it was meant to do. Right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And feel love. Allow yourself to love. Right, my darlings? I love you guys. Bye for now.